Here we are with My Hero Academia Season 5, Episode 1, and I think 2, because I think I might upload 2 episodes per video, um, so these videos will be probably like an hour long. <laughs> oh my god. But I mainly do it because I just, it means less work, and this is 25 episodes, and Season 6 comes out like, I think on Friday next week? Um. Saturday next week, the 1st of October, and we have now the 20th. Um, so, yeah, I have to hurry if I want to be able to catch up with it by then. And I, I'm not sure if I will enjoy it, season 6 or 5. Um, first, I have to see if I enjoy season 5, because I watched season 4 when it came out, and stopped at episode 17, because it just got a bit boring at that point, and I just stopped. Um, and now, like yesterday and today, I watched the last few episodes, so 17 to 25 of season 4, and finished it. But oh, man, I didn't have a great time. <laughs> it just felt like a drag for me, and yeah. So we will see how this turns out, season 5. But let me know how you feel about it, if you want to see this or not. And then I see if I like it or not, and depending on that, I like if you like it, if I like it, I will either watch it or not i guess um because i mean there are so many other animes that i could watch i could watch mushoku tensei which i'm really hyped for which i really want to watch i want to watch tower of god then there's like fire force and so many other animes that are so good so yeah we will see um but yeah this will take a lot of time and like i said i will probably upload two episodes per video because it cuts down on my work i have only to do the rendering for one video instead of two videos i have to do the thumbnail for one video instead of two videos i have to do the description for one video instead of two videos so there's quite a bit of time saved if i just do two episodes per video but the video will be very long but yeah um i would say without further ado let's get to the episode I wouldn't say so. Because it was his basic, basically his first day since he became official number one and he already got fucked up. So I would imagine that probably the people in this world would be like, yeah, he won, but if this is his first day, are we really safe with him being the number one? The strongest, basically. First day being number one and he already got fucked up. <laughs> I would say that's not a good sign. <laughs> but I mean, we know that this thing was pretty strong. Will this be a recap episode? Holy shit, please no. Oh my god, I feel bad if this is a recap episode. Season 6 will probably also have one, right? Oh my god, oh no. Oh. Oh. <clears throat> I wonder how Hawk's ability works. I mean, he uses his feathers to do shit, right? But he said that his feathers that he gave to Endeavor, basically, got, like, burnt to cinder. So how do they grow back? <laughs> how did he get his feathers back? <laughs> do they just super quickly regrow after, like, a day or so? Or after a few minutes, hours? Or can he recover them somehow? Immediately? And something I also don't understand is that Endeavor is always like, man, I have to watch out for my heat, right? My heat is rising, my body temperature is rising, and all that shit, I have to be careful and everything. But he uses one big flame attack after another. And it's like, it seems like it's not a big issue. <clears throat> Unless, obviously, the fight is done, or the plot demands that he can't keep fighting anymore, then it becomes a problem. The plot armor, mm-hmm. It's just weird, because he said pretty early in the fight, like, oh, I have to watch out for my heat or whatever, or my body temperature, because otherwise his body functions deteriorate, and you just use one big attack after another.
from this angle. He looks so weird when you just see the white hair. No red at all. I've heard that this season has really bad pacing. <clears throat> Which I think is overall like one of the big issues with My Hero Academia, I think. Because I feel like there's barely any progress. We have... We are getting season 6 and we are still in the first year of the, sc of the school year. And another problem I have with My Hero Academia is, what's his name, Shigaraki? This again. Because I don't like Shigaraki, I think he is annoying and not interesting at all. And we have him now for six seasons. And we will probably have him for the whole story. However many seasons that will be. <laughs> I mean, there are some people that are like, man, Shigaraki is such a good vil villain, and I'm just like, nah, he's annoying and boring. <clears throat> Intro? Mm-hmm. <clears throat> she has a cloak now? Can't hey can't let the dip can't hide her big booba. <laughs> Or not really, maybe a cloak, but a cape or something. But she needs it even for. <clears throat> Man, my nose is itchy. I really have to say, I, I liked Boku no Hero, like I said earlier, it has pacing, pacing issues, I think, and I liked it at the beginning, the whole premise, but after now so many years, and now we are getting season 6, and it feels like there's nothing really happening, I mean, there is stuff happening, but I feel like progress is just so slow for the most part, uh, it's a bummer, I think. Because, like I said, we're in the first year. How many episodes will it, how many seasons, how many chapters in the manga will it get before we get to the end of the story? If this is still the first year. Because, I mean, the end goal is that Midoriya becomes the best hero in the world, number one, right? But, oh, this happens also now. Every quirk must be explained again. <laughs> oh. Um, I mean, yeah, that's the point of the story, right? That Midoriya becomes, like, the number one hero. But, I mean, that probably takes longer than his school life, right? I feel like there should have been like a time skip at some point, maybe. Hmm. 
What the fuck? <clears throat> this is like one of the worst parts about My Hero Academia 2 that they have to re explain everything. The gist of the story, what everyone can do, and all that stuff. Each season. <clears throat> I mean, I would imagine that after like five or six seasons, people would remember what these characters can do and can't do. Or not what they can't do, but what they can do, right? What their quirk is. And I don't think that anyone will just jump into this season and be like, oh yeah, that's my first episode watching and I'm just don't care for the first few seasons. I mean, I didn't watch this for like three years or so and I still remember what everyone can do. <laughs> Pretty happy about it. There is. <laughs> Oh, uh huh.
if every villain would would be like that. I'm just going home. <laughs> That ass. Well, it's not big three anymore. <laughs> oh yeah mm -hmm. some clams and octopus and the chicken Get tail whipped. I wonder how much damage Midoriya could do if you were to really punch him. Where's Bakugo? Is he coming now? Oh, there they are. <laughs> Surprise, motherfucker.
<laughs> well, Midoriya could have done that too, I guess, but he stopped. Please surrender. I don't want to punch. Those eyes again. Well, one hero less. After credit scene, or it was just a preview. Oh, yeah, <clears throat> yeah, he got fucked up. <laughs> First day, number one, official number one. Oh, Dobby. There are a few things I know about the season, which I think isn't much really. Um, I know that Hawks goes to the League of Villain, but people think, but I think it's not resolved by the end of the season. But people assume that it's that he's undercover, basically. I guess we will find out. Okay, I think I will also keep my outros or thoughts, uh, or reviews, whatever you want to call it shorter for my hero academia so that i can get through this episode quicker um but yeah episode one is done let me know what you think i guess maybe i think it was not good um because it's like this typical it's basically just like to reintroduce everyone right this person has this name and quirk this person has this name and quirk this person has this wake and name and work, whatever. Uh, I, I hate it so much. <clears throat> Every season they do the same shit. And like I said in the episode, I would imagine after five seasons that everyone that watches this knows who is who and what they can do. Unless it's someone new. I mean, like I said, I didn't watch this for three years and I can still remember the quirks. Not necessarily the names, because I'm bad with names, but I can, I see the character and I know, I know what he does. <sighs> I don't know what the point of this is. It's just so annoying. 
Um, but yeah, like I said, first episode. Nothing crazy. Not much to talk about, really. Um, but yeah. Off to episode 2, I guess. Oh, Mirko, here we go. Hell yeah. That's what I like to see. I love Mirko. I hope we see a lot of Mirko. That's what I want to see. Mirko. <coughs> I don't know, but I think I've heard that... Deku is going to Mirko for like some student training shit maybe? I think I've heard that. Which would make sense because she's a rabbit and rabbit have strong legs, right? And Midoriya uses his shooting style where he uses his legs for, right? So it would make sense to get trained by someone that uses his legs a lot, right? <clears throat> I think I've heard that. I don't know if it happens here. I don't know if it happens overall. <laughs> but I would love that because that would mean we see more Mirko. <laughs> I mean, she has everything going for her, what I like. Bunny girl. And she's tanned. And her outfit, <laughs> like everything is awesome. <clears throat> I mean, if they had a few of those Nomus, rip. <laughs> Let's say they would have like 10 of those. Rip.
<coughs> oh, okay. So it already get got revealed. Ow. One feather left. <laughs> So basically this would probably haven't happened if Hawk wouldn't have conspired with the League of Villain, I guess. <clears throat> and his feathers are back somewhat, not completely. How is Hawk sleeping with those wings? Maybe he can like, oh my mean, I guess he can just take off his feathers, right? And then sleep. Because I would imagine those must be heavy, right? Having big wings on your back. So the feathers just grow back. Mm -hmm. I mean, yeah, we know from the last season that he was pretty much gifted. The youngest top 10 hero and the fastest ag uh, agency, his own one at 18. <laughs> it's 
similar to his. I mean, I get it, right, that he's pissed after what happened. That's not something I guess you can just forgive like that. Exactly what I said. People are like, dude, his first day is official number one and he got fucked up so much. Look, boy. I mean, this is like pretty bad for Endeavor because he wanted to go to overcome all might, but here right now he just became number one because all might is gone basically as hero. And because of that, he can never prove that he is like better than All Might. Because there's no. You can't compare them anymore. He dead. Is this when the dream happens? Mm hmm. Which we saw at the end of the last season.
Oh, it's another dream. Okay. Oh, no, this one. Okay. I thought he had the same dream this year again, like from last season now again. <clears throat> How does he figure that out? I guess it makes sense, right? And yeah, I know why he can see that and what it means. What the fuck? Tentacle like hair. Who's this?
He has red eyes. Yeah, I think <clears throat> Yeah, I think the he got the power to store energy from his brother right from uh all for one and then it turned out jesus christ yeah, yeah i think <coughs> he had he got the power to store energy right and Then it turned out that he had a quirk, which is to transfer quirks to someone else, <laughs> which is super dumb. Um, okay, okay, that was the episode. Let me know what you think. But yeah, I mean, like I said, I mean the part with Mirko was cool. I like Mirko. I want to see more Mirko. I hope we get to see a lot of Mirko. Um, and then yeah, it looks like Hawks is teaming up like or is involved with the League of Villain but then it turns out that others I don't know who those persons are but if it's police or whatever they wanted him to do it to get information um, and then yeah Endeavor is fine again then we see some trouble at home with with Endeavor and his family obviously and then we see the whole thing with the Pre previous predecessors of 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 one for all and yeah like i said i think he got the power he got the quirk to store energy and then he had the quirk to transfer quirks over to someone else but since he had no quirk he could transfer there was nothing he could do with his quirk so it seemed like he had no quirk just like a we're just like a super big plot twist right <clears throh> um oh yeah i mean nothing else really to say i would say and so far i'm not hooked i would say <sighs> because i'm just like i said i i just come from season four of my Hero academia and the last few episodes that i watched yesterday and the day before that were just super draining and felt like a drag and wasn't really enjoyable and now we have episode one which wasn't really enjoyable because it's just like a big reintroduction to all the characters and now we have this episode where nothing much is really happening i would say um and obviously because like i said um i knew the part with hawks a little bit i thought but i thought the reveal if there would be a reveal if he is like really with the league of villains or not I thought that it would be like towards the end of the season or maybe next season um so i only knew that apparently he was in cahoots with the league of villains but i mean we still don't know if he like maybe he actually is and we just saw the flashback where he talks with the others and they say yeah go to the league of villains but maybe he actually is it was even before that and so we still don't know if he is really with the league of villains or not right um so far it looks like he is like just uh, undercover agents basically and I mean the whole Endeavor family thing we know that already how the family sees that whole thing and um, yeah the whole thing with the predecessors of 
one for all. Um, like I said, I, I knew that already, um, so that didn't come as a big surprise. I think it's interesting that you can only see a few, and the other ones are still like shadowy. I guess that is probably because Deku is only at like 20% right now. So I guess once he gets more control, he will see more, right? I guess. Um, but yeah, I guess nothing much else to say. So yeah. If you like what you saw, leave a like, subscribe, or comment. Let me know what you think. You know what I'd say? Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye bye.